What's going on YouTube? This is Chris with Always Upgrading RC. I want to follow up my previous video of the LED light install on the Bandit VXL with a quick how-to on how I actually did it, how I routed the wires. Uh, so you can um, recreate this on your vehicle. I'm sure it'll work on any, uh, any RC providing it has the, the receiver plug. Um, the light kit I got was purchased from Amazon. I will post it on this video as well. I do have it on my other one um, where I show the car um, running around the, uh, the garage. Um, but as you can see, the only real exposed wires I have are on the front right here. My front lights are coming right out of my RPM bumper. I took a quarter inch drill, drilled those out and the LEDs fit perfectly. I used some silicone, um, RTV silicone on these connectors right over here. And it allows me to, it allows it to be flexible as well as be able to remove it if I need to change my bumper out for any reason. Um, so the main plug-in goes in the receiver box, everything's routed through here, um, everything's taped off neatly, um, the only real thing showing, like I said, is on the upper chassis where I just taped the wire down, but it's all covered when, when the body's on top of there, and it's not going anywhere, it's very secure. Um, it plugs into the second accessory outlet on the bottom, um, and it works fine, it doesn't draw any extra amperage, um, you know, the lights will last for years. Uh, it's constant. I don't notice any flickering. Uh, nice tight fit. Um, now on the rear, I routed the red LEDs right on the on the sticker where the lights actually are from Traxxas, and I routed them underneath. And they come with um, like a metal grommet set, and that's all set and tight in there. There's a they come with uh, lock nuts on each one. And those are secure, they're not going anywhere. I also use a little bit of RTV silicone right around where the metal hits the plastic, just to ensure that it's that it's sturdy. Those wires I routed right through my rear Intigy shock tower. And again, right down through here, right into the box. There's plenty of slack to play with. There's about three inches worth of slack in this box. Um, we'll go ahead and plug it up. And we'll turn it on and show you what she ultimately looks like. I think it looks great when you're riding around. There's your front LEDs. Pretty sick looking, especially in the dark. I have this underground garage where I park, and I was testing it out yesterday. As you notice, I have the green springs on the front of the car. Um, I switched them up from the red. There's a little softer ride. And around back, the tail lights look sick on this thing. It just it just really completes the car. Um, I mean, it's only a bandit. I also anodized my little my aluminum um, slipper clutch cover right there. I just keep adding to this thing, and it, it's really it's. I don't know what else I can do to it, but. It's only a bandit, but I do have a blast with this car. It's really fun to customize. So, if you have any questions, please give me uh, some comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.